Hey Recorder Gamers, I'm Jameson and welcome to the Recorder Arcade Player's Guide, a mini-series where I'm going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about the recorder. But not that type of recorder. Or I'm going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about the recorder. This is a boombox cassette recorder. Really? Or I'm going to teach you... Oh come on, this is a blender! The recorder. It's a woodwind instrument classified as an internal duct flute or a thipple flute that utilizes a whistle type mouthpiece. The recorder is distinct from other types of thipple flutes by the addition of the left thumb hole on the back. Okay, okay. So when I say internal duct flute, it just means that the sound is created inside of the instrument. Here, let me show you how. So this is the head joint of the recorder that contains the mouthpiece that you blow air into. And as the air travels through, it exits through this tiny little windway that you can see there. And it hits this sharp ramp called the fipple. When it hits the fipple, the air gets split in half. And half of that air goes out through the window up top and the other half goes straight down into the instrument. And that is how the sound is created on the inside. So along the body of the recorder, you have a number of holes here. You have three for the fingers of your left hand, plus the one on the back for your left thumb, and you have four for the fingers of your right hand. Now these last two have what we call double holes, and I'll talk about those a little bit later because those get important as we start talking about the larger recorders that need keys. What do you mean there's larger recorders? What is that thing? So just like most choirs have sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses, so do most recorder quartets. So we start with the soprano, which many of you have played in your elementary school days. And then we move up to the alto, which is quite a bit larger. We can then move on to the tenor, which is exactly twice the size of the soprano, and even moving forward to the gigantic bass recorder. But believe it or not, this is nowhere near the size of the largest recorder out there. Recorders can be made out of plastic, or they can be made out of exotic hard or soft woods to create that traditional recorder sound. But the thing that really gives the recorder its unique tone is what we call a reverse conical bore. So the bore of the recorder is the hole that goes right through the middle of it. And when I say it's reverse conical, it means it is cone-shaped. But the reverse means it is bigger on the top than it is on the bottom. Oh, I get it. So playing the recorder is just like eating an ice cream cone. You can't eat ice cream while you're playing the recorder. But you want to know something else cool? Get it? Ice cream? Cool? The recorder as we know it today has been recorded to being used as early as the year 1388. And archaeologists have even found fipple flutes with the signature left thumb hole for the recorder carved out of animal bones that were dating back to the Neolithic period. That's like 4,000 to 12,000 years ago. I know, how cool is that? Ice cream? So I think the recorder is a pretty awesome instrument, and hopefully now you do too. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and never miss any of the Recorder Arcade's awesome video game music covers or the next installment of the Recorder Arcade Player's Guide. That's awesome. I can't wait to learn more. Warm up your warp whistles and let's get ready to play. Three, two, for the... the <laughs> so just like why would anyone want to eat just the ice cream cone has an earliest dude i get it <laughs> i speak bad english good <laughs> <laughs>